The Rat Connection. The assignment for September in the Dainty Acres studio is to work on communication, communication between human and dog. I have a communication style that I use, it works, and the dogs understand it. But in order for them to listen to me, I need them to first want to listen to me. This is where the rat connection comes into play. This is a mutual connection between human and dog. Why is it called rat connection? Because rat is an acronym for R, respect, A, admiration, and T, trust. The rat connection is like a three-legged stool. Only holds up if all three are solid and mutually working. I can have the best communication cord between my dog and I, but if he does not respect, admire, and trust me, he's going to choose to tune me out. If your dog is annoying you, you are not admiring your dog. If you are yelling at your dog, you are not respecting your dog. If your dog is jumping on you, he's not respecting you. This is where it needs to be mutual. The connection. The show lead is required in the show ring, but not required to achieve your goals. You can practice without a leash or a lead, but let's talk about show leads because finding one you like and getting used to it will be part of our lesson this month. I want you to get very comfortable with it in your hand, how it works, and how to best communicate to your dog using it. I look at the lead as a cord with a plug to the dog on one end and a plug to my hand on the other. In order to communicate well, we can't afford static, distractions, or interference. We need to be solid. That's why we practice. Choosing the right lead slash leash. What is the best lead and collar combination for you? There is no one right answer. Each dog is different and has different neck conformation, sensitivity, and fur. But since it's about communication, you want to use something that can help you communicate well. So the lead, the leash, should be what works best for you. Should it be leather or nylon, long or short? Handle for the hand or pinky? Held high, held loose, held in front? How about the collar? Martingale? Flat link collar? Slip lead? Resco? Our homework for the first week will be to watch a video of Will Alexander demonstrating different lead and collar combinations. And, and we get to also in that video watch him handle some of the dogs with those combinations. Will Alexander says over and over, the lead is a signaling device, not a tow chain. So here in the Dainty Acres Training Studio, we have some of the same training tools as seen in the Eric Salas video. I am asking them to touch and move on and off and forward and backwards of these discs. They get to be successful touching things and bait, and I get to see them listening to me. So doing some fun learning games in the training studio will help develop a good rat connection and great communication between human and dog. So let's pick up some of these things to do today and de start developing that rat connection. Your homework for today is to pick a lead and a collar combination that you want to buy. Uh, watch that Will Alexander video and see if you are still committed to that lead and collar combination. Spend the time and money this week buying your chosen lead and collar combination. Then start using it at home to get used to it. Just walking uh, in the house, forward, stay, stand, walk around your dog, see if you can get a stay, and then starting off and striking off and get going into a walk and a trot. I will have some exercises for you for the next couple weeks, but let's get started with the right tools.